If you're a pro designer using Midjourney, here's the truth. You don't need better prompts, you need better tools. If you want to design with intent, prompting isn't a workflow, it's a guessing game. In this video, I'll show you how to work faster and with more control using mood boards and Midjourney's SREF codes. Today, we're illustrating a children's book scene a grizzly bear hosting a tea party in the forest. And I'll walk you through how I use a custom mood board to skip the trial and error and lock in the style from the start. And then iterate and discover an art aesthetic perfect for the piece using an SREF code. But let's start with a common problem people have. What to use as a prompt. If you're like some people, you use ChatGPT to conjure up a detailed, overworded monster paragraph just like this. Sure, as with any mid-journey attempt, you'll get a result just like this one, but what if you slim down your prompt to just the necessary words and use mid-journey's mood boards to hone in on the best image instead? Just like this. So here's what we mean. I've got that same prompt ready to rock and roll, and I'm gonna create a couple more images, and I'm gonna use the repeat command, which is just dash dash R4, to create 16 more images using my slim down prompt. And then what I wanna do is to show you some mood board stuff. So while this is creating, let's go over here to personalize, and let me show you the mood boards that we're gonna use. So I have my global profile right here, these are ones that I have ranked, and these have a lot of really amazing images in it. I've got over 3,200 rankings. And then I've got a new mood board that I just created, and this has 56 images that I created in, in Midjourney. And this tells Midjourney, hey, create stuff just like this. These are some of the favorite ones I've created probably in the last two weeks, and I'm going to use it plus the mid-journey global profile that I have to create new images that are kind of tailored to how I like to do stuff. And then after that, we're gonna hone in on some things using some SREF codes. So first off, let's see what we did without using the mood boards. And uh, they look great, okay? So this is, remember, not the monster prompt. This is just a couple prompts that we've used and you can see that these are just some amazing images already, right? So let's go ahead and throw that prompt back in and then go up here to our uh, command center under personalize. When we turn these on, we already have these two selected, but if you wanted to unselect or select something else, it's just as simple as uh, checking uh, one of these uh, mood boards that I have, right? So we're gonna do the same thing and hit RR4 to create 16 new images, but these will have uh, some flavoring with our mood boards. So this is gonna be slightly different, and this is a great way to find an art aesthetic that you really like, and it's gonna have some kind of things in it that I appreciate in art, and you can already tell that these are different than other things. So remember I had some plaid images in there. Uh, I also had some find detailed illustrations in there. This is where this stuff comes from. And this gives you a couple different types of things that we can use. I got a guy in there. I don't know where that guy came from, but it's just one of these things where you can get some amazing images right off the bat. And that's what I really appreciate about Mid Journey is because when you use a mood board like this, you can find something that you really like. Now, let's try the same thing with some SREF codes. So I've got some stuff saved up. I'm just gonna paste it in. And so what this is going to be is, is one, two, three, four, five, six different SREF codes. Now these are art aesthetics that uh, I kind of like, and I wanna see what it's gonna do with the mood boards that I've uh, got set up. And this is how you double play and find some really awesome stuff. So I'm gonna hit go. And I'm not doing the repeat command because we've got uh, so, uh, a bunch of different SREF codes in here. So each four uh, images is going to be a different SREF code. And we're going to be able to see kind of the results. And let's go down here to the bottom to start. So this first one is SREF two, 259. 
And this has kind of an elegant look. It's got the bear wearing clothes. And remember, uh, we're looking for something that is exactly what we're trying to get to in our illustration, something unique and something different that nobody's ever seen before. And I think using SREF codes is a great way of doing it. So this is SREF code 587, pretty awesome. 2754, this has more of a comic book kind of a look to it. This is 12566, which has kind of a cartoon look. This one has more of a sculptural look to it. It's a huge one, uh, 25353627292. And this is uh, 12391503299. Pretty amazing. So, as you can see, we can find some really great things, and it's kind of a really cool thing to use. So, I highly recommend that you go this way with using Midjourney. Using a better workflow and the proper mid-journey tools, you can speed up your effort and get to the finish line faster with better images and less frustration. And by the way, if you'd like to learn more about how to use mid-journey better, be sure to check out our mid-journey experience community and newsletter. Just click the link in the description. You can get easy access to the best information and a community of other professional creatives using mid-journey just like you. Thanks for watching. Drop any comments or questions below.